They're obviously uh, always a, a busy time this Christmas time as a manager. What's the main challenges that you face at this time? Four games in eight days <laughs> uh, with the with the squad. This it's not 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 biggest squad in the world to be honest with you. So we'll have to be careful how we manage it. But all managers up and down the country will be saying the same if they have got mm. squads my size. Yeah. So do you already in your mind you know sort of what you're going to do with your no, team? No, so you forward? can have a bit of a picture in your mind, but obviously injuries and illness comes into play. Got a bit of illness around the camp. Uh, even I've had it a few days today. So uh, we'll see. We'll assess and we'll. Uh, We'll pick a pick a team to win Saturday's game to start off with, you know, with Doncaster coming to town to start mm. off with, so we'll, we'll try and win that game and then move on to the next one. Yeah, Doncaster, what are you expecting from them? Like any team in this division, if you're not at it, if, uh, if we're not at the races, we'll get beat, but if we're at it, we'll we'll win. Simple as that. I think you can see that now. We're, we're halfway through the season after Saturday's game and it'll show you that we've we've won nine games. We're going to be getting to double figures on, on Saturday. And if my team turns up that I know can turn up, we'll... We'll, uh, we'll win the game, but uh, obviously tough test and they always are. Yeah, nice to be back at the Memorial Stadium though for this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. After obviously our own form's been pretty strong now for a long long period of time, but uh, they've still got to go and earn the right to go and win the game. So Doncaster, like any team in, in this division, will come and fancy the chances. So we've got to be got to be at our best yeah. to be able to, to compete and to try and win. Yeah, they obviously blew you and say what three points or so, aren't they? But yeah, but it's not a lot in it. It's, uh, it's mm. four games in eight days coming up, so it's an opportunity to get some points on the board and try and uh, climb up on ourselves in the top half of the table if we can. Yeah, this is really a, a time of year that can shape the season, isn't it? For for pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it certainly can. I mean, the the twelve points are up for grabs in a short space of time, isn't it? So we'll try and get as many as possible as we can over the Christmas period and and, and try. And put uh, more consistency into our performances. Other than other than Saturday, you know, we've won two out of our last three, so it's a chance to build on that and, and try and progress up the table. Yeah, I know you'll say every game's important, but important to get the this block of games off to a winning start. Well, it? it is, it is, but it's, uh, you can only try and win the first one as it comes along. So it's a, it's a t- real tough competitive league, as as you can see by the table. There's only the five, six at the top of the table that are running away with it a little bit at the minute, and the rest of uh, much of a muchness. So we've got to we've got to try and capitalise on that and try and win as many many points as we can over this period yeah Darren Ferguson have you crossed paths with him before no played against him when he was at Wrexham good player great left foot so uh, no uh, I know the assistant manager Gavin Strachan well Gordon's son played with him at Hartlepool so uh, we'll have a drink after and obviously they'll be mm. trying to win the game so no look forward to it yeah what do you make of his management style and the, the jobs he's done maybe oh, he's, done, he's done great he's done a great job uh, obviously very experienced manager now so uh, we know his, his teams will be very well organised and play good football so tough challenge you've got a, mm. they've got a decent squad on, on, on paper so uh, like any team in this division it'll be a, a real good challenge for us but one we're looking forward to trying to put Saturday's disappointment performance behind us and, uh, and try and uh, pick up three points at the mem. Yeah, does he have traits of his dad perhaps Darren do you think? Ah <laughs> yeah he's got his genes that's for sure hasn't he so listen he's a, he's a good manager in his own right so uh, we'll uh, we'll have a glass of uh, glass of well you'll probably have a glass of red I'll probably have a lager after the game <laughs> uh, and the, the fans obviously will be looking forward to seeing you guys over Christmas won't they as well so nice for them to have a home game here to look forward to the weekend. yeah no certainly uh, nice and we appreciate all the support we get and, and certainly at a time where it's uh, very expensive around Christmas let our fans down at, at Gillingham who, who travelled a long way so we're hoping to cheer them up with a, with a good home performance on Saturday yeah and what's the mood like in the camp finally mood just doesn't really change in my group to be honest with you they're always in good spirits to be honest with you uh, my mood hasn't been great, like I said, I've had a bit of illness this week, but the lads are in good spirits and they're, they're wanting to put their, their, their disappointing performance behind them as well, So, but uh, the proof will be in the pudding come three Saturday.